when the church is aware of and supports and hides the affair when the when the church is aware of what your husband is doing in the church he's a pastor he's had several affairs you're the wife and you are cornered on every side where people are telling you that you need to be quiet where people are telling you that this is a ministry when people are telling you that you need to stick to your husband no matter what he's doing what are you doing well, many of you are in a place where you're almost at a point that you think that it's better if you just take your life. <coughs> what a thought. What a thought that lines up completely with what the enemy will want you to do. So that then they can turn around and say how you were not of God and you're not being led by God. And it's a good thing, right? Behind closed doors. And they will further sympathize with the pastor who now marries the mistress that he's seeing now. God is saying to wake up, wake up and rise up. He's seen everything that you have been going through. He's seen everything, my sister, that you're going through. And you feel trapped because you feel like you're like in a mafia. Because they're shutting you up. They're telling you to be quiet. They're telling you that you can't expose this man because souls are in the balance. Well, sister, that is not true. Your soul is in the balance. There's no soul that's more important than yours. Your soul is in the balance by staying in this type of relationship. God is saying your exodus is coming. He's heard your cries. He's heard your frustration. You feel very lonely. But God is saying, I'm there with you. Guys, what I'm hearing in my spirit for you ladies that this applies to, God is saying to go on a three-day fast. A three-day fast, however you can do it, whether it's an absolute, whether it is a, a Daniel fast, whether it is just juice only, go on a three-day fast and you set it from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And for those of you that it's just too hard for you, maybe you're not used to doing that, then you adjust it accordingly to what you can do. Maybe you can only do an hour or two hours. That's fine. But God is saying a three-day fast. Fast and bring your needs and your concerns and this issue to the Lord. Stop arguing with your husband. Stop arguing with the church folks. Stop trying to prove it. I see some of you, you have printed out text messages. You have printed out and shown phone messages between these two. And they still shut you down, sister. As a matter of fact, they rebuked you. God is saying, it has not and is never my will that you are treated in such a way. Your husband is to love you as the way Christ loves the church. And you were never meant to be abused, used, betrayed. And now you are being treated in a manner as if you're the problem. The Lord is saying, trust me. Trust me in everything. He wants you to be still and know that he is God. He does not want you to continue to try to, to plan and, and to plot and to, to get them back. And you're calling this woman who is disrespecting you and she's coming to church. She's coming to church. I see your husband just walking out the door and just going wherever he wants to go, despite what you feel. God is saying, be still. Bring, make your request known to me. I hear the Lord saying, don't fight this battle naturally. Do what I've called you to do and watch how I'm going to turn everything around. I'm going to change everything around. Everything around my daughter. You will be a royal diadem again in my hands. You are already a royal diadem. You are rare and you're beautiful to me, I hear the Lord saying. So these things that they are doing where you feel like your enemies are round about you, God is saying, I am with you in the midst of the fire. Just be still. Just trust me. Get on this fast, ladies. Get before the Lord. 
Get before the Lord. You have to forgive him. Forgive him in your spirit. I know it's not easy. And I'm not telling you that you're going to just feel great. But God says, if you forgive him and put your heart in my hand, I will help you. I will mend your broken heart. I will heal the wounds. I will close and I will mend and seal all the punctures to your heart. God says, I've got you. But this word had to go out to these pastors, wives. <sighs> Some of you are leaders. Your husband just has a key leader. He's a key leader in the church and he's close to the pastor. And they're all in cahoots. They're telling you to be quiet. Even some of their wives are coming and telling you that you need to, to act right and tone down. No, sister. Mm -mm. That's not God's way. You will not find that supported in the word of God. The word of God does not tell you to sit there and aid and abet your husband in an affair. Trust the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Your redemption is nigh. Your vindication is nigh. Be blessed.